Okay, hey everybody. Um, I'm just here today and I wanted to give you a little bit of a review and um, a sneaky peek into this wonderful book called Floribunda. It is um, an adult coloring book that is published and was made by the artist Layla Dully. I don't know if you can actually see there you go. I'm bringing it up closer to you folks to the camera so you guys can see that. And this is a very, very beautiful book. Um, I was actually, um, I was actually eyeing this book back, you know, back when it first came out on Amazon for a while. And I was so happy and so excited when a dear friend of mine sent me this book. And, um, I just have to tell you that I love this book. Um, and first off, as you can see, this book is, um, it's a lot, it's larger than, um, the regular coloring books, you know, that we see out there. Um, I don't have the exact measurements, but, um, if, you know, if you have seen one of, um, Johanna Basford's, um, artist edition books, that's pretty much, um, how big this book is so I like that and the cover on here is like a very thick um, almost cardstock type of um, cover it's not a hard cover but it is very sturdy and it has held up pretty well and so here we go we're gonna go and open up here and first of all excuse this little um, mess that has happened here that's me I did that um, I didn't have any paper comparable to the, this type of paper at the time, and I wanted to test my Derwent Inktense pencils with water and, you know, to make sure that it didn't leak or seep through or buckle up when I used it, you know, because I wanted to um, color my first page and I wanted to... Um, I wanted to use my Derwent ink tents and I was learning how to use them at that time. So that's what that was. That That's all about that. <laughs> and so here is the inside of the first, you know, the cover. This is in the inside. And this is a reference page, which is so awesome that, you know, that Layla has included here. And these are the different flowers that are in this coloring book and it gives the names of each of the flowers like here you've got the poppy you know we've got the cut it was like that the peonies up down here and you just got these awesome awesome reference pages and reference pictures to go through and she, it's also on the back page so on the back page there is also another one right there and I just found this very cool, very awesome, and very helpful. See, although I love flowers, um, I don't can't really tell you the names of flowers um, besides their normal common ones like roses and orchids and and things like that. But you know, to get into very you know detailed names of every single flower, I don't know that. So this helps out a whole lot. And also another thing that I have done is I have actually used Google to search for the names of the flowers and that way it gave me um, it gave me other color variations that these flowers may have. So if I wanted to use um, a different kind of, you know, different colors and stuff like that, I got some ideas and inspiration that way. So I think those are very, very awesome. So now we're going to go to, so like I said, there's that page that I played around with. And they're all single-sided pages. Nice, you know, awesome paper. It's that kind of type of dream paper that we all want in all of our books. And this page right here is the one first page that I ever colored in this book. And I did use my Derwent, Derwent Inktense pencils and the Aqua brush. And this was just me just playing around, just trying to see what different effects um, I can come up with using the Derwent Inktense pencils. 
and I did use my aqua brush um, when I did this so I've got a little bit of water splatters here um, and that was my learning process so yeah that was my first page and then also if you notice this page is loose okay I wanted to test out on test on how easily these pages you know if I could take them out nicely without any ripping or any damage to the side of the paper just in case um, I wanted to give it as a gift or if I wanted to frame it and display it on my house and I found that you can definitely do that you know as long as you're careful on these edges right here and lift up lift up you can do that and I did this very easily with no damage to the sides whatsoever so that's another cool thing about it and like I said see you can hear that nice thick 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 paper so markers gel pens um ink tents watercolor all would work perfectly on this type of paper and here is the second um image that i colored in and as you can see let me move that up closer so you guys can see what i have done there and this was colored um by using um i used up my prismacolor premier pencils and if i haven't told you before my favorite colors are anything that has to do with the pinks the blues the purples and so i just kind of went to town on this didn't use any reference pictures to see any color variations on google or whatnot um i just kind of went with the flow on this and that's what i came up with so there you go prismacolor premier pencils work awesome in here blending was just awesome and then another cool thing about this book is at the bottom of each page layla has included the names of the flowers that are, are you know are featured on that page see that so i think that's actually pretty cool so you know um you know what kind of flowers you're coloring and you could always use those names up as a reference to search um, online and like a Google and get your um, some inspirations on how you want to go and color um, your flowers and your foliage and your leaves and all that good stuff. So there you go. And I haven't done any more yet because I have so many projects going on that I'm trying to make sure I'm spending equal time with them. But so here we go. We're gonna go and just do a little flip through of the images in this book. Like I said, lovely paper, lovely images, reference of the names of the flowers down there, all single-sided. Yep and like i said there's 20 images on here that i am sure if you're like me that loves flowers that you would enjoy coloring in this book so much lovely detail that layla has put into this book um and with her flowers and stuff um i really really enjoy looking at the, just looking at this book period and I take great care when I want to color in here because I don't want to mess it up <laughs> but here is a page that I have been eyeing that is on my next to-do list that I want to color um I haven't quite figured out what colors I want to use yet and I might just go ahead and do my usual and wing it <laughs> But that will, um, that's another video that we will get into um, at some other time. So like I said, just wanted to give you a little flip through so you can see what images are in this book. So if you guys are interested, you guys can go ahead and purchase one for yourself. And I really, really highly recommend it. I love it. And I know this book is available on Amazon and I will include a link later on in my um, info 
when you know in this video on a link on where to purchase this book on Amazon and I'm sure there are other um, stores that carry this book as well too and oh here's one unfortunately I wish there were more of these um, landscape type of pictures in this book but this is the only one but I absolutely love it. See that? It's very, very, very pretty. I don't know if I'm getting the whole, can't really see, but yeah. But you see how pretty that is? And I just love how it's in landscape mode. So there you go. There's that. And another one of these beauties. So, so yeah, um, just one book that is highly recommended and that's the end of that. And here's that reference page, um, reference page again in the back, like she had in the front, um, back cover and there's that, that's the end of that book. So yeah, there's my little review on this Floribunda book by Layla Dully and a flower coloring book and I highly recommend that you would get this so yeah so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you guys next time